Welcome to Big Data Management 10.2.1. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate complex type support for arrays. Complex types. Big Data Management supports several complex types such as arrays, trucks, and maps. These are supported across various formats such as Avro, Parquet, JSON, and across storage systems such as HDFS, Amazon S3, and Blob. What is an array? An array is simply a container object that holds fixed number of values of a given type. Arrays can contain primitive data types or other arrays. And arrays can also be single dimension or multi dimensions as well. There are a lot of functions available in Informatica's transformation language that help you to build arrays. At the same time, look at the size of the arrays, extract elements out of it, and so on and so forth. There are also many gestures that are available in the user interface that are going to help you interact with these arrays. And I'm going to demonstrate some of them today. For example, you can use extract from complex ports to extract specific elements out of an array for a given array element. You can flatten the complete array to extract all elements from a given array. Let's take a live demo. This is the big data management developer console. I already have a few sources and targets imported into my model repository to show you this demo. Let me bring in a table called as line items. The line items table has data associated with orders, parts, suppliers, and so on. What I'm going to do in this demo is to build a array of part numbers for or part keys for a given order. Now, the way I would do that is create an aggregated transformation because I want to group my data by the order. So I'm going to bring in the order key and then I want to build an array of part keys. So I'm going to bring in the part key as well. Now in the aggregated properties, I'm going to define the group by port as order key. Then I go into the ports tab and I will create a new port. I'm going to call this port as array of parts. The port is going to be set of type as array. As I mentioned before, arrays can be of primitive types or other complex types. In this scenario, I'm going to create an array of integers because my part keys is of type integer. So I'm going to select the type configuration. I'm going to select integer and I will leave the array dimension to be single dimension. Since I'm going to compute the value for this array parts, I'm going to make it an output only port. I'm going to make the part keys as input only port. Now with the expression for this array, I'm going to rely on the complex functions that I have as part of the transformation language. So I'm going to use the collect list function and then I'm going to ask it to collect the part keys coming from my input. Let's validate, it's valid. And that's it. Now I have an array of parts for a given order key because that's what I'm grouping my data on. Now, I would like to write this to a complex file such as an Avro. It's very simple. I'm going to first create an expression transformation, grab my order key and the array, or basically any other fields that you would want in your target. You could do a create target functionality select the target that I want to be created as of type complex type and link the ports by their names. Now I'm going to call this particular data object as Avro file array of parts. And I'm going to set the resource, leave the resource format as Avro. Let's click finish. And that's it. Now I have a mapping wherein I read the data from a relational table, aggregate the data by order key, create an array of parts, and then write them to an Avro file. It is as simple as that. Similarly, if you want to extract something out of an array, there are various gestures and functions for that too. Let's say I want to extract something out of the array that I just created. What I can do is create an expression bring the arrow in. In the expression transformation, I can create a new port and I'm going to call it as 
part number two of type integer because my array is array of integers. This is an output only pod and inside the expression, I'm simply going to use the square brackets as my indices to say array parts of one because it's a zero based index. This is going to get me the second element out of that array. So I can create as many puts as I need to extract various elements out of the array. I can do the same using the UA gestures as well. Let's see how that works. I'm going to right click on the array, hierarchical conversions, extract from complex put. Since it's a single dimensional array, it doesn't show me anything inside that array. But if it is a complex type, then I will be able to see the structures and the elements inside that array. So I'm going to select the array and then I'm going to say, I want to be able to extract, let's say the second index out of it and then click finish. And you will notice that a new expression transformation is added to the mapping canvas for me. And when you look at the new pod that got created in it, you will see that the user interface has actually created the same expression logic for me. And I can repeat this for any number of elements that I want to extract out of the array. For those who are interacting with the complex types for the first time, these UA interfaces and these gestures would help them understand how to extract elements and build the arrays. Now let me show you another gesture, flattening. To show that, I'm going to clean up my workspace a little bit here. All right, so now let's say we want to extract everything out of an array. There is a gesture for that. It's called flatten complex boot. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to select the array that I want. And what it does is you can see that it creates a normalizer transformation. And inside the normalizer properties, the array is configured with auto occurrences, which means for each element inside that array, I will have one output row from this normalizer. And in the subsequent transformation, I will be able to interact with all the values coming out of that array. In this case, they're all going to be integers and I can start using them for my subsequent transformations. This is how I can extract all the rows out of an array and then use them in the subsequent transformations such as expression and others. As a summary, BDM supports many complex types such as arrays, structs, and maps, and these are supported across various file formats across various storage systems. There are many UA gestures available for you to interact with these complex types. Thank you for watching this video, and for more such informational videos, please do subscribe to our BDM community site at network.informatica.com.